Good evening, everyone. My name is William Bowen, and um, I'm introducing my discussion on um, my research topic, which ended up being uh, espionage during the Revolutionary War, um, the use of spies, uh, spy networks, and the tactics that they used to gather information um, to relay messages and uh, information to um, uh, the people uh, that needed to hear it, uh, specifically individuals such as General George Washington. Um, a lot of people uh, understand and, and know that George Washington um, used a spy network, although it's not as well known as um, maybe um, some of the other information about George Washington might be. Um, but he was actually very um, integral in uh, creating um, the very first spy network. Um, he utilized the uh, what was uh, known as the Culper Spy Network, or uh, the Culper Spy Ring, um, to gather information about the British in and around um, the New York City, Long Island, Connecticut area, where at the time was um, British headquarters. Um, he utilized individuals, and he uh, didn't know anything um, about them other than they were gathering information for him. They were that secretive about it. And uh, they used different methods to relay information um, to him. Uh, they used um, ways such as invisible ink, which everybody finds as a, um, you know, as a fun spy thing that you might do or maybe as a science project you might do. But at the time, it was a very key way for relaying information and what they would do is they would take a, um, a regular letter and they would use um, in our case lemon juice uh, and some water but at the time a, a chemical and they would actually use that and write in between the lines of the letter and then when the individual would actually receive the letter they would hold it up to a uh, candle um, and that would reveal the message. Um, another way would obviously be codes and ciphers as everybody is probably aware and you've probably seen in uh, movies such as uh, National Treasure um, and they used a cipher and codes as well um, they would send a, a message in code uh, letters replaced with letters or in the culprit case um, the spy network would actually replace letters with numbers or symbols um, and the individual that would receive the um, correspondents would use their cipher to de uh, decipher the uh, coded message. So it was a very interesting um, way of relaying information to and from one another um, to uh, make sure uh, that the Continental Army had the information that they need. And uh, um, there was also individuals that were very um, integral and in, um, other than George Washington in uh, spy networks. And we talked about the Culper spy ring. Um, Robert Townsend, who was known as Samuel Culper Jr., um, his identification didn't even become uh, in, um, found out till well after uh, the Revolutionary War and his life was um, uh, over. Uh, so it was really a very secretive thing. And then most people know um, individuals like John Jay or Nathan Hale. Nathan Hale is probably the most famous, even though he wasn't a very um, uh, good spy by spy standards. Um, most people know him for his patriotism, for dying for his country after he was uh, caught for uh, uh, espionage um, by the British Army. So... Um, it was a, a very fun topic to get to learn and um, find some of the background information on. So I hope um, you guys enjoy that. Thank you.